In this Python tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload files and download files from Amazon S3 Cloud Storage Service. So Amazon AWS S3 is a very simple to use and easily scalable cloud storage service. If you don't have an Amazon AWS account, uh, make sure that you register for an account first. And the account is free. And you get the first 5GB of storage for free. Alright, so here let me uh, sign into my account. So I'm going to click on my account. I'm going to click on AWS Management Console. All right, so this tutorial is going to be aiming for uh, anyone who does not have any experience or if you have any uh, little experience using AWS. So I'm going to start everything from scratch. So here I already have an account, so I'm going to log in to my account. I'm going to choose root user. And that means that I'm the uh, account owner. So assuming that you're someone new who have never used any of the Amazon AWS service, so here in the search bar, want to search for IAM, we need to set up our uh, management assets first. On the left hand side, want to click on users. And here to create a user. So let me delete this user. I'm going to click on add user to create a new account. And I'll name my account JJ. And under the select AWS access type, make sure that you select a programmatic access. And next. And here we need to create a new group. So click on create group. So here let's give our group a name. Let's call this a S3 storage. And here in the uh, policy filter, we want to search for Amazon. S3 for access. And make sure that this uh, policy is checked. Then click on create group. So basically we're assigning different uh, permission setting or permission set to this group. Then click on next. And we can skip this step. So in case you want to assign your own uh, key value pair, then you can provide uh, the information. And once we review all the information is correct. We can go ahead and create user. If everything is proceeded successfully, you should see the uh, success message. All right, so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my assets key to uh, a notepad or my Python script. I'll copy to my Python script. I also copy my secret assets key. And let's name this as uh, access key. And it's going to be access secret. All right, now we're done with uh, setting out the uh, permission set. Now we need to create a bucket. Going back to the uh, search field, we want to search for S3. And select S3 service. So a bucket is kind of like a folder, except that uh, we are storing the uh, information or files on the cloud. So here let's create a new bucket by click on create bucket. And let's name this as uh, JJ folder. So this is going to be the bucket name. So here choose the region that is closest to you. And because I'm living in Taiwan, so I'm going to choose, uh, let's choose Tokyo. I'm going to leave everything as uh, default. Then I'm going to click on create bucket to create the... Uh, oh, so the bucket name can only be lowercase. And let's call this uh, JJ storage. So underscore storage. Uh, yeah. JJ space storage. Remember I can use... Oh, okay. So JJ hyphen storage uh, one. And click on create bucket. All right, so here's my uh, bucket name. So I'm going to grab the bucket name. And I'll uh, create a variable called bucket name. And I'll assign the bucket name that I just created to that uh, bucket name variable. 
Now we have everything we need to access the uh, S3 cloud storage in Python. So here, let's go into our Python editor. And we increase the uh, terminal font size. Here, let's change that to 21. All right, so before we begin, we need to download the Amazon S3 uh, SDK. And to install the uh, Python library, so here we want to type pip install, and the library name is Boto Tree. And once the installation is finished, here let's go to our Python script. So here in my project folder, I have uh, two folders. One is the uh, folder that contains all the files that I want to upload to my uh, this uh, JJ storage one bucket. And the other folder is I want to uh, download the files from the Amazon S3 service. All right, so here we import the OS module and the uh, Boto Tree module. Now we're going to create the Amazon AWS client instance. So from Boto Tree the client. I'll name this as uh, client S3. All right, so the first parameter is the service name, and the service we want to access is called S3, in lowercase s. Next, we need to provide uh, our access key and access uh, secret to the AWS access key ID parameter. And AWS secret access key. And it's going to be access secret. All right, so if I run uh, this code block, num connects to the Amazon S3 service. All right, so here we insert nodes. So uh, create, it should connect to S3 service. Now I want to uh, upload files to S3 bucket. All right, so here I'm going to say that for file in uh, OS that lists the app. So I want to list all the files inside this uh, data files folder. I'll grab the uh, folder path. And I want to check uh, if the file name doesn't start with the wave symbol. So here I need to insert the not statement to inverse the uh, result. Then I want to upload the file. All right, so here I'm going to insert try accept block. I want to do one more thing. I want to uh, from the Boto, actually, oops, from Boto tree, I want to import the client air type. Oh, this should be bot. Core, I should, uh, Boto, I should, uh, see, oh, Boto core dot exceptions. Now, going back to the uh, try accept block, here I want to check against the uh, client here. And if we run into this here, then I know uh, the login should, uh, credential is incorrect. Then I want to print the end message. Otherwise, I just want to print uh, the air message. All right, now let's go back to the uh, try block. Found the S3 client instance. We want to reference the upload file method. Oh, this should be a client S3. The first parameter is the uh, file path that you want to upload. So here, actually, let me do this. I'm going to call this variable data file folder. And I'll assign the variable to uh, the list DIR function. All right, so here let me insert the list that uh, gets CWD to return the working directory. I want to join the uh, folder path. 
with the data files folder. All right, so the first parameter is going to be the file path. So here I'm going to concatenate the data file folder with the file name. And the second parameter is the bucket name. And I will send that to the bucket parameter. And the key is the uh, identification that I want to assign to the uh, file itself. For the key value, I'm going to use the file name. All right, so here if I run this, uh, this code block, it looks like all the files got uploaded. And let me install one more thing. So here I want to print a message, uploading file, followed by the file name. Now if I go back to the JJ storage one bucket, and here are the uh, three files that I uploaded from this data files folder. So three files, one image file and two Excel files. And if I click into one of the files, and here we have a, a key parameter. And the key is going to be the uh, reference that you'll be using to reference to this file later on when we uh, download the file. All right, now let's uh, move on to downloading file. So downloading file. Um, S3. Downloading file is much easier, so we can uh, reference the client instance, the download file, and we insert the bucket name and the key value. So here I'm using the file name. In case if you want to uh, rename the file, so here let me grab this uh, this statement. I want to save the file to the uh, download folder, files download folder. So this should be uh, files download. I want to rename the file as uh, test.jpg. All right, so if I run this statement, now, if I go back to my files download folder, here's the JPEG file with the name got a chance to test.jpg. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.